My name is Laura Van Hassel. Today we're coming at you with another Remini review, filming in the brand new VIP room. Today we're reviewing Ric Flair's Indica Drop. This is ice cream cake grown by Verano. I really liked it. I thought it was very reminiscent of Verano's Buds, small and tight. Although it is small, it's the same quality. It was slightly dark with little flecks of purple in there. It smelled a lot like your typical ice cream cake strain by, or similar to gelato cake by District. It was sweet and cakey and had a bit of a fruity smell to it. So once I ground it up, I found the little tiny purple specks inside. It was still the dark green. It was a bit of a rough grind, so I was surprised at how well it packed into the vibes cones I used for it. It was also a bit sticky. It didn't look at it first, but I was having trouble getting into the cone all the way because it was sticking on my hands. I first smoked it in the cone. Um, it was a very smooth burn. I wasn't coughing or anything. I did like the taste. It was also cakey and slightly fruity. I then smoked it in a glass piece. When I hit it out of the glass bong, it was a smooth hit. Um, you still get those really sweet flavors from the cakey genetics. After my first J, I felt pretty relaxed. I already felt my anxiety come from like a seven to a three. Um, it didn't make me sleepy at all after the first J, so. I definitely think this would it be more of a daytime use, especially for people who really like indica strains. I continued smoking bowls of it, and I was really happy. I was in a talkative mood. I smoked quite a bit. It was about four bowls in, and I was very happy. I was ready to sit down and watch some TV and play some video games. I definitely think this would be a really good strain for people with really bad anxiety and depression. It would be more of a nighttime strain, although it's not gonna knock you out like typical indica. It does give you that relaxing, like end of the night vibe. I really like how budget friendly this is, especially for it being Verano, which is generally a premium grower. All right, again, my name is Laura. This has been another Remedy Review. Thank you for listening.